Hey, I'm Tom and this is TRB Collectibles. And you know what? I'm not alone again this week. Guess who's joining me once again? Hey! It's Mike! <laughs> that sure is. Now, after we went to the thrift store last time, we decided that, you know what? It paid out. It did pretty well. So we have a feeling that it could potentially do the same again. Right, you think? Oh yeah, because we only got through like a fraction of what we wanted to get through due to time constraints. So, so we have a good feeling. We're gonna go back, we're gonna try our hand again at this thrift store, get our walk in, get our walk back, and just have a great time. Because I have good company this week. If and we do enjoy our walks. We do, we do. And if you're ready, we're ready. Here we go. So as we walk along, I decided, you know what? I wanted to, to have you get to know Mike a little bit more. And Mike actually enjoys going to the thrift store, looking at stuff and seeing how he can make a profit. Right, Mike? Yeah, it's very interesting stuff. I'm actually glad you got me uh, tuned into this because it's you learn some stuff. Now, would you say, is it something that you want to do full time or are you just looking to do it to make a little extra money? No, definitely part time just to make a little extra money. I, I can't rely on this full time for full income. So at least not yet. He'll get he'll, he'll get it. He'll understand. It. He'll get the ditch. But Mike, as far as like coming away from new selling, what do you want to learn? What do you what do you want to learn from this? What's what's your big goal out of this outcome? Uh, honestly, just to pick up some stuff that's valuable to learn the market of what's valuable when it's valuable during the year certain things may rise to prominence during specific times and then fall off a cliff never to return things like that so I kind of just you know pick up information if I come across something I you know have that light go off in the back of my head like oh this is actually worth something and with and every step and every part that you learn Mike that's a part of it yes it every is. item that you scan you learn something new Yes, it is. Yes, kind of like do. when you, you found those CDs. Yeah, that was wild. <laughs> You'd be surprised some of the artwork on this stuff. It's weird stuff. It gives you the endorphins, though, that when you do find success and you find that one item on eBay and you can make money on it, it feels good. Yes, yes, it does. Well, that's a little bit more about Mike. Here comes the thrift store. Let's go. <laughs> These are mechanical banks. You place a coin down and it makes the mechanism move. People like to collect the originals. There's a lot of reproductions, so make sure you can distinguish old from new because old is where the value is. Remind me to look through the books. To be very honest, like some of these. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Look up the graphic novels, because sometimes the graphic novels do really well. Like, oh, they have Nerf guns this week. Yeah. I stopped selling them. You stopped? Yeah. Why? I can sell, but they're painfully annoying. So. Let me guess, because they're shipping? Yeah, they're long and they're obscure, so the box is just... I'll say this one will be pretty simple to sell. Some of the stuff is new. Oh, wait. Oh, my little. Oh, they have more of these. these. These tankers were something that was highly collectible. Yeah, I'm drunk with these. 15. When, when a lot of times. Oh, so the pepper shakers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Thank you. 
what happens a lot of time when they do these estate sale clear outs this is somebody's collection of like a lot of these tankards i have one but it's themed to the world's fat uh, of course it is <laughs> but people would go and they would seek these out because they're all unique they're all individual they have wild, wild colors No, if you collect them all, they're worth it. I mean, we already have them. I'm not talking about personal. No, I know. I know. What about the other two, though? They're probably written on the inside. But if they're first edition. You know, I never read these books. It's like a lot of story. Well, your brother has it in the room. Yeah. They're, they're not like Probably not going to read them anytime soon. They're first like American stars. edition. Yeah. So, okay. so now, look this one up, but type in first edition hardcover. Now you need to type in Harry Potter, Half Bud Prince, hardcover, first edition. Yeah. It varies. Yeah. Yeah. So you see, the only other thing is that you have that, you have that. Yeah. Yeah. Then, I haven't seen it, but I've never really seen it. This Pretty decent. The only thing is, is the dust jacket on the back. Wait, again. I bet you this is going to be first edition too. First edition. And which one is this one again? That'll definitely help. What I would do is I would buy both. Because the hardcover is six bucks, and I'd sell both together. Because it's six and seven. Oh, yeah. Certain books like this one are worth nothing. But the moment you put first edition, it gains ten dollars in value. But when we find one, what are we gonna do? Ah, uh, yeah, there's more to be had. So you look and see if you can find another. Oh, we won't do as much, but oh, you have a little box thing this week. Oh, and there's new movies. I like cream cheese. Do you? Yeah. Yes. Well, no, like cream cheese in things. Cream cheese in general. Are you talking like on a bagel? Yeah. Yeah, I like it on a bagel. Yes. Really? No, it's disgusting to me. You want a picture of like Mother Teresa? Oh, God. Wait. Children? Oh, look at this one. Ah. Oh. Bunch of fruit. Fruit. Apples. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but it's great. Boots. Welcome back. Now, today was a little bit different than the last time we went to the thrift store. You'd say, so is the same, Mike? Yeah, just a little bit. How was it different? Uh, well, one, there was actually a lot more people there. There was, and their conversations were really quite interesting. Yeah, that, that's one word for it. <laughs> but uh, you, but hear, you hear a lot of things that you didn't think you would hear when you woke up this morning, which was actually, that, that part was pretty interesting. But that's the thing, it's like, as I've mentioned in prior estate sales, some of the best parts about it are the environment that you're in. So not only is it the selling, because you have to scan through, you know, DVDs and CDs, but it's also the environment around you. And I think it was a fun environment today, at least. Yeah, and uh, nobody knocked anything over this time, like no, last time. No, no, but <laughs> we, I think we did encounter the same 
the same person. Actually, yeah, it might have been. I the think same it person. was the same person, but I think he was just interested in viewing the DVDs and looking at them. And hey, uh, hey, some people like to just build a collection. Correct. So we had scanned. Uh, I know I scanned through a couple hundred CDs, looking through all the DVDs that we looked through last week. They didn't really seem to have too much as far as media, but we did find something that was new to Mike, and we looked into books this week. Yeah, yeah yes this, we did. This is Mike's first experience with books. Mike, tell, <clears throat> tell the viewers at home, this is your first experience with books. What did you learn today, Michael? Just for the record, I know how to read, and I've, re I've read books my entire life. So, I am not new to books. I am new to the reseller's market of books. <laughs> oh, there you go. Had to put that on record. Yeah, we did. Now, Mike, key question. What did, what did, what did you learn about, uh, what did you learn about books today that you didn't already know growing up? If you sell as part of a collection, that will drive the price way up. Correct. Especially the larger the collection, the more books involved in the collection, the price will spike. Specifically, what books did we find today? Harry Potter. We did find some Harry Potter hardcover books. And if you're unfamiliar with that category, Harry Potter, as far as literature, does really well. Specifically, if it's first edition, you're going to find that you're going to find out if it's first edition within the first three pages, it'll tell you the year and the edition that it's going to be. And people really seek those first edition with Harry Potter books. And luckily for us, we actually found three first edition books, but we only picked up two because they're, you know, someone had to write all over the side of one because of course. <laughs> and when you write on the books, Mike, does it that automatically deteriorates the value. Correct, because people want those first edition books, especially the hardcover ones, in really nice, almost collectible status, not necessarily readable status. And I think the ones that we have here... Definitely readable status. Now granted, each book was about $3, and we could probably sell them together between $20 to $25, $25. plus shipping that the buyer will then pay. So we did walk away with something today. Yes, we did. So yeah. that in itself is a minor success. And Mike, going forward, it's something that you learned and something that you could look forward to when you do come to look up books and sell them, right? Possibly. Yeah, but it's another category that we learned today. If you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to click that like button. If you had a fantastic time, be sure to click that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below also if you enjoyed, as I almost step in a puddle. Hey, Mike's got this down already. But as always, my name's Tom, and this has been TRB, TRB Collectibles. Collectibles.